beautiful, amazing people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are new here, hi, how are you? My name is Elefteria and I'm a front-end developer currently working with AngularJS and Material UI. I'm doing the challenge of daily UI and I'm on day 36 out of 100. I know a lot of days and I know that we have a lot of more work to do. But now on day 36 we are going to do an Emmy calculator and actually at first I didn't even know what Emmy is. So it stands for a created monthly installment and it's like for home loan or housing loan and things like that. Um, maybe if you're not a native speaker you wouldn't also know that. So that's why I'm mentioning it. Anyway. For the Emmy calculator, I know what I want to do, it's going to be something fairly simple. And let's see what I have already have here. Um, I'm having like today's theme with Emmy calculator and then again inside the working area, which is where all the work is going to be, I have again the Emmy calculator. In this layout, this could also be raw, it wouldn't change anything. And here I have like a button, which is this one, and obviously later I'm going to change it. But for now I have it like this because I'm always using a button. So I think that if you're watching my videos, like my previous videos, you already know how to create a button with AngularJS. For the CSS, I have like a few classes, body, theme, working area, which is our main one. And then for the header for and the submit button, which currently is this button right here. As for the JavaScript part, I have an Angular module with my app and inside there ng material, ng messages and material SVG asset class and the controller, which is app controller. Now my app and app controller are being used here, like my app and app controller. And also, if you go there at pen details, uh, sorry, not pen details in JavaScript, you will see here that I have a bunch of things. I'm not going to use all of them, but because I'm using this as a template, like I'm using this pen as a template, I have everything that I may need for an AngularJS project. Okay, enough bubbling, let's start coding. Yay! Um, after my header 2, I'm going to have a header 4. Okay, and for this header 4, I'm going to have something like a one amount. And I'm going to start using my, fir my first scopes. The first one is going to be rating 1. Let's do it like this. Come on. Okay, now that's it. Now the rating one doesn't exist. So let's go and create it in the JavaScript part. Inside here, I'm going to have scope.rating1. And let's also give it a price. Okay, and let's say, oops, this is rating. And let's also say that I'm going to need this two more times because as I've mentioned, pretty much I know what I want to do. Uh, we will change this and let's also change the values. You can have your own values, but I think these are okay, at least for my situation. And let's go back to the HTML. All right, now after the rating, I'm going to have um, a div layout. Div, okay. Oh, guys, my um, PC these days is quite slow. So although I'm typing, it doesn't seem like I am typing. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Maybe it needs, I don't know where, restarted, refresh, I really don't know. Anyway, let's hope it's nothing uh, serious. Inside here, I'm going to have my slider. To do so, I'm going to need an empty slider. And we will also close that slider. 
now I'm going to need a few things inside here, like a flex. Um, I'm not going to type anything in here, and then an MD discrete, discrete, uh, which again I'm not going to type anything in here. But of course I need my model, and the value for this model is going to be rating one. Now also I'm going to have a step which is going to be one. The minimum value is going to be one and the maximum volume is going to be uh, 5000. Okay, now I think that we are okay. Um, I've closed the slider, I've closed the div, so the next thing that I want is to have also an MD divider. Okay, uh, let's style a little bit this divider. So I'm going back to the CSS, um, maybe like here, I can have my divider and pretty much it's okay. I don't want to change a lot of things. Maybe just adding um, a margin bottom. So the other things that I'm going to add won't stick to it. Okay, let's also make it that as an important. Alright, nice. Uh, let's go back to the HTML and see what else we have to fill in for that project. After the MD divider, I'm going to have a span. Okay, now inside the span, again, I'm going to have a layout row. Cool and maybe also a layout align with uh, like let's say space between and center. Okay, center. Cool. What else do I want here? I'm going to copy this um, H4 or header 4 and I'm going to change this in a uh, tenure and let's say years oops and now this time i'm going to have a rating of two and after that i'm also going to have an h5 so i hit your five and this time here i'm going to have my md switch so Let's also type that, MD switch. Let's do it like that, all right. Uh, for the MD switch, I'm also going to have a class equals like MD primary. And the name here is going to be special. Cool, I'm not going to be needing this for now, but it's nice to have um, a name and like other HTML properties now the mg model is going to be uh, let's say uh, project dot special okay and for the md switch i'm going to have in months uh so it's going to be like you can see it either in years or in months in months sorry okay after the switch and after the h5 after this but I think that I'm going to copy one more time this whole part right here because again I need a slider so I'm going to have like um, this row slider flex discrete now my rating is going to be two the step again is going to be one minimum volume one maximum oops like this is wrong uh, maximum volume uh, for this one it's going to be 50 and again like that's it for um, our second property the 10 years now I think that I want again something more so I'm going to copy the whole part right here paste it below and let's see what else we have like here I'm going to have my Emmy Calcul oops, cal calculator all right um maybe no maybe let's say that i'm 
I'm not going to have it like this yet. I'm going to add an interest rate and I'm going to have it like as a rating 3 and also I'm going to add the percentage. Okay, I don't have a switch in that case so I'm going to delete that one. Okay, and so now for my layout row, flex, disc screen, trading, I'm going to keep this as three um, step minimum volumes are okay, but for the maximum, I'm going to have 100. And the divider, again, it's kind of cool. We are all right with that. Uh, but now I think that we are in our final step. So I'm going to just copy this time the H4 and I'm going to change that to uh, the aim type okay let's keep it like that and then let's say that we have a section and inside this section i'm going to add i think my two buttons so let's copy that part here i'm going to paste it like that uh, the flex is going to be, let's say, 45. Um, maybe I can also add to my section actually a layout row. Like that and a layout align. Oh, I think that I have already write that one. Okay, layout align. Let's copy this one. So after a row, I'm going to have a layout line with a space around. So I'm going to copy that one from here and center. And okay, so now I have the empty button with flex 45. The class, oh, okay, let's change a little bit the class. I'm going to have it as an Amy type and MD raised. So far, I don't have the class of any type, but we will um, also write that. Uh, let me create another button and then we are going to the CSS. So again, flex 45, um, I'm going to delete this class here and let's also change this in, in arrays, arrayers. <laughs> Okay, for the any type, let's go to the CSS. Okay, and after the empty divider, I'm going to have it like this. I'm going to actually copy this stuff from the submit button because pretty much I want the same thing, just changing um, the color. So from background color, I'm going to have a color and any type. So it's going to be like this. I think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it, but let's see if I'm missing something. Uh, layout row, layout align with space around and flex 100 class of my button. But obviously here this time I want to say like calculate Amy. Okay, now I think that we are okay like these buttons obviously like uh don't work because we didn't make the functionality we just did the design for it i like the design i think it's pretty cool you can do quite a few things and you can change the sliders you can play with this value right here and yeah so that was it guys i hope that you enjoyed that video and if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe that would be awesome have an amazing day and please don't forget also to check the description because there you will find all the links that you need to reproduce this project again thank you very much have an awesome amazing day and see you in the next video